Well, hi there, Aries, and welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast. Wow, that was fast. From the Gasmic Tarot general reading. As we expand on the energies, here's your forecast for, for uh, last half of October 2021. General reading, take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else. If it does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, you want to claim the reading, or just tell me where you're watching from. I always get excited about those, uh, those uh, comments. Throw a comment below the video. All righty. So let us get started with your last half of October reading, 2021. Okay. So, by the way, thanks again for your likes. Thanks for your subscribes to support the channel. I appreciate you. Page of Water. Regaining that childlike innocence in your life, that curiosity, that enthusiasm, remembering times past when you had fun, when nothing, you know, nothing is so serious. Spirit is telling me, lightening up. So this is a period where we're going direct for after the Mercury retrograde and we're spending time to lighten up. Things are not so, um, so serious. And if you do that, you've got Fortune's Wheel. And Fortune's Wheel is about abundance. It's about synchronicity, right place, right time. And you're moving into a period where you're going to be seeing that combination of destiny and synchronicity. You're, you know, they're um, coincidences that prove that spirit has your back. Lucky breaks. Moments when things turn out perfectly and show you how we're all connected. It's a beautiful card to have in your foundational space. And then we have the, <clears throat> the Ace of Earth and the Ace of Earth, this beautiful stag. This is about prosperity in its purest form. This is about concrete results in the physical world. So you're making your wish. <laughs> checking it twice. You're, you're putting your, your thoughts out there in the universe and they're materializing in a way that's going to bring, bring you um, some tangible results. Abundance, peace, love, joy, contentment is part of abundance. Money is part of abundance. And so looks like you're really on the path to bring those ideas into fruition in the material world. Okay, so let's get a little clarification from the smallest deck in the world. Okay. Spirit, a couple of cards for me, please. Ooh, nice. For our lovely Aries. Nice. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Okay. So what do we have? <sighs> what I'm getting here from spirit is a past hurt. You, somebody or a situation did you wrong. They wasted your time, your energy, um, took you for a loop. Let's, you know, took you for, for the, the right of your life something that you didn't really uh, want to experience. And so what I'm getting here, it's still in that emotional space, uh, but you're wiping away the, um, the veil and you're seeing things much more clearly, which allows you the beginning of this period in uh, the last half of October around the 16th to the 19th as Mercury is uh, retrograde is completing, you're allowing those opportunities uh, for positive growth to really take hold. You're releasing some of this emotional, um, the things that are keeping you from being 100% delicious or feeling delicious. And that's going to help you get back to that childlike innocence. You're doing your homework here. And we've got two kings, good partnerships. We've got the king of cups and we have the king of swords. Now, 
King of Cups is about following your heart. King of Swords is about working smarter, not harder. And as we see those opportunities coming in, this right place, right time, synchronicity and destiny working together, you are able to see through, see clearly. No more illusion here. You're able to see it. You're cutting through the BS. And Aries, you have no problem cutting through the BS. Get to the flipping point, right? Nobody's going to tell you what to do, right? That's the my, been my experience with all the Aries in my life. You can't really tell an Aries what to do. And, nobody, and nobody's going to be able to get away with that. You see it clearly. You're cutting through it. And you're finding that delicious balance that's in your life. The balance between work and play, not going at a thousand miles an hour and not having any time for yourself, taking that cow gun moment, you know, that let me embrace me. Let me look at what I've done and say, hey, look how far I've come. I've done really well. And not where I want to be yet, but that's okay. I've made it through these tougher times and dealing with the situation and now it's time to really move forward in a positive direction and you've got this beautiful page of cups lightening up to ascend a very creative time and that's going to open you up to all the different possibilities that are coming for you last half of October 2021 that's right you have the tools you have the tools. The doors are going to be opening for you. You just need to take a step in action in that earth be emotional state. Peace, love, joy, contentment, appreciation. When I am dealing with something, um, I always throw it up to spirit this way. Hey, guys, thanks. I appreciate everything you've given me in my life, but wouldn't it be great if and dot, 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 whatever it is that I'm looking to accomplish. I laugh, I sing, I let it go. I don't focus on anything. And when the opportunity presents itself, I take a step in action towards the opportunity. Remember, every single moment is a chance for a new beginning. And your new beginning, your new cycle, because the fortune is about karmic cycle, that wheel is beginning last half of October. So lots of opportunities coming your way that might will bring that could bring you financial success. Good for you. All right, guys, short reading. This is all I've got for you today. Thanks again for your likes and clicking that little subscribe button. We love you, Aries. You are a rock. <laughs> Take care and we'll see you soon.